Thanks for watching WTOC TV Channel 11 Savannah, the Southeast News Leader. Now, Beth Youngren with the news, Ron Wallace with your weekend forecast, and Ken Greiner with sports as the news at 7 continues. Welcome back to the news. Landfills, they're hardly at the forefront of most people's minds, but we all use them and they're filling up fast. As more trash is generated, new solutions must be found. And Donald Jones shows us one company helping to save some space. The company is Fiber Fuel International. They're working in conjunction with federal, state, and city of Savannah officials to salvage storm debris from the storm of the century last March. Instead of this material just being picked up, ground up, and thrown into a landfill, is we decided to uh, uh, recover as much of the material as possible. Uh, some of the material is going for fuel for Union Camp. Other material is going to local landscapers for uh, topsoil treatment. And so it's in with the old and out with the new. These monstrous machines can sift through and recycle close to 20 tons of material an hour. Well, we all remember cleaning the waste out of our yards last March after the storm of the century. And as the old saying goes, that trash is now sort of a treasure for the community. Uh, there was approximately 2,000 tons of material which would have taken a lot of landfill space for the city of Savannah. So basically this is saving uh, the city of Savannah a lot of landfill space and a lot of, a lot of money. Staub says this is a first for the city of Savannah, and he says this process is turning into a whole new industry. Donald Jones, WTOC News. Fiber Fuel International started the recycling job December 15th, and they expect to be finished up by the end of this month. When we come back, some South Carolina citizens are teaming up with law enforcement. We'll tell you how.